Hey guys, um, it's Jojo here. I'm so sorry that I have not put any videos up, um, but I have a very good reason. I have been having health issues lately, but um, I'm feeling much, much better. And um, I'm really, really excited to kind of play catch up with you guys. So in this video, I'm gonna be putting two book reviews into this video just so I could play catch up. Um, so please bear with me. So the books today that I will be covering is Paulo Coelho's The Alchemist and Thomas Hardy's Tess of the Dubbervilles. So um, I'm gonna start with The Alchemist. So basically The Alchemist is about this young Spanish shepherd who lives on a coastal town in Spain and basically has a dream, he lives out his days um, with his sheep and has a dream of going to the pyramids. And he goes and sees a psychic who tells him that to follow that dream because there is a treasure that he needs to find and that is his that is the meaning and he need and he you know that that's that's the journey that he has to go to go through. So the entire book basically is him on this journey to go to the pyramids and the people that he meets and he falls in love with this girl but he you know he's following his journey so he has to come back to her and it's it's quite beautiful and um in the desert he has to meet um the alchemist who basically is a i wouldn't say a magician it's more like i would say a scientific magician kind of thing but he is you know, well respected in the village um, that where he is and he's kind of helping him in the conclusion, kind of his mentor in the conclusion of the journey. And the, the way that this book finishes is absolutely amazing. It, the subliminal message behind it is, it left me literally, I, on the last page I turned and I paused. That's how, how, how strong it is. And trust me, when you read it, and if you have read it, you'll understand what I mean. Um, so I highly recommend this. This is an amazing book. Um, I've never really read a book that's based on, you know, religion or faith or anything like that. But this is this definitely goes way beyond that. It's something that can open the eyes to any, open your eyes to any, you know, anyone to open their eyes and really look at the world a whole lot differently. And that is something very powerful for a writer to do. And I will definitely be reading more of his books and probably doing more book reviews um, from him. So um, thank you, Paulo Coelho. Um, Coelho. So the next novel I'll be covering is Thomas Hardy's Tess of the Dubervilles. This is actually one of the very first novels that I've read of Thomas Hardy. Um, but I have to be honest with you, it is absolutely amazing, amazing. Um, so I'm going to start with telling you what it's about. Um, the Tess of the Dubbervilles is basically about this woman named um, Tess Derbyfield who comes from a very poor farming family. And her father, who is an alcoholic, basically comes upon some news that he is actually his family's descendants of a very, very respected noble family um, by the name of the Dubbervilles. And in having this, he sends Tess um, to the family, um, to the descendants of this family, to claim the relation, to help them out with money matters. And when she goes there, she meets Alec Derbyfield, who is her far off cousin. Um, and basically, this guy is obviously not a great guy. Um, and he kind of manipulates her into trusting him and even though she feels she doesn't really trust him fully as she's working for this family to get um, money um, something just doesn't feel right about him and it's very disheartening because he takes advantage of her in the worst way you could ever take advantage of a woman and it's kind of it's it's that start that event kind of sets the tone for the rest of the novel and all the kind of events and things that happen throughout the novel and the kind of woman she becomes. And one of the things I really love about this novel is not only do I feel that Thomas Hardy did such an amazing job, um, reading it you would think it's an actual woman. You know, like it's, an, it, it's told from a woman's perspective. He has such this great intuition um, in explaining this. And um, another thing that I love that he does is that he manipulates the, the 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 settings. You know, in his description of the environment, the way it is, the rural, you know, um, areas where she lives and the farming, and um, it's it's it it almost makes you it, it 
it gravitates you even more because you sh you feel more deeply what Tess is going through from every point of her life, whether it's a happy moment or a sad moment. And sadly, this ends in tragedy. Um, but it's an amazing novel. And to the point where when I closed it, I actually, I admit that I actually did cry. And there's only... The only not other book that has actually had gave me that kind of reaction was Fault in Our Stars. But this novel, when I closed it, I I actually did cry because I felt for her. Even though I knew how it would, is going to end, I knew how it was going to end, I still felt it in my bones. And um, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have, um, please like below if you like this video. And um, if you have any book recommendations or any questions at all, please comment below. I always love reading um, you guys' reactions and, you know, if you've read the novel, hear what you guys thought about them. So um, I definitely want to connect with you guys. So anyway, um, I will hopefully get another video up soon. And yeah. Okay. Bye.